don't know if you can see this. Wow, you see this little blue tip? I could hear a noise. I'm like, what the hell is that? It keeps going. There's, there you are. What are you doing? What are you doing? And it keeps, it's trying to get in the door. I don't know why. And it doesn't stop. It's a glass. Stop trying to get in, little flower. Why? Keeps, there you are. It just keeps trying to get in the door. Through the glass. What's going on? You're going to hurt yourself. I don't know what, has she seen the leftover curry from last night? Do you want food? What do you want? Oh, she had a little poop. What are you doing? You're going to hurt yourself. Bizarre. I wonder if I've got any. I've got some seeds and things actually. Oh, I wonder if you can give mixed seeds with flax in it to birds. Do you want some foodie? Where are your friends are probably out on the tree. It's so bizarre. Usually, if I was this close as well, the blue tits would fly away and it's just trying to get in the house. So if I open, hey little flower. Oh my gosh, I'll see if I can put some food out for him, see if that helps. Okay, I'll put some seeds and some water out for him, see if that helps. It's very, I mean I quite, we quite often get, I suppose everybody does, like marks of birds where they've flown full pelt into the window. But to keep going for it and keep not being able to get through the glass is a bit of a stupid bird. Have you gone? I think he might have gone. I wonder if he's um, out with his friends. I saw one as well, trying literally just attached to the wall yesterday near the front door. What are you doing? I wonder if it was the same one trying to get in. Oh my gosh, that's him. He was on the he was on the brickwork again. What's going on? Where are you going? He was literally just attached to the brickwork right next to the front door yesterday. What are you doing? Who's trying to get in? Are you trying to nest in our house? I don't know where he's gone. Oh, that must be him floating around there. He's gone up there. Where you gone, matey? Usually they play on the hairy tree in the morning. That's their playground. Bizarre, they. He just arrived back, trying to get through this window this time. I think he's gone. Oh, there he is. Hello, are you just having a look? Is it like going to an aquarium and you're just seeing what's in there? Or are you seriously trying to nest in our house? <laughs> just try to get through the front door, try to get through the side door, trying to get through the window. It's really weird. Unless he's seen something in here that he feels like he's got to get. I don't know what. Is he coming back? I can hear a noise like, oh my god, he's probably banging into my bedroom window. I can see him in the background. Oh, I think he's about to come again. Oh, they're higher. I think he might be banging into my bedroom window. What is going on? It's really bizarre. I mean, I've pigeons that, you know, birds sometimes just f fly full pelt into the window sometimes. Where do. Oh, there he is. Oh, he just went again. <laughs> He's literally looking at me. I can see some webs up there where he was. The zoom. Oh, he's gone. And this camera is incredible. And the Samsung. He just uh, came back.
and landed on my windowsill. Mr. Blue I don't know what's going on. Is this usual behaviour for them to try and get into your house? It's nesting time. They've been out playing on the tree. You're gone now, of course. Where are you gone? Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Connie thought it would be hilarious when she looked up. Uh, is it a Kath Kidston? Yeah. The Kath Kidston. Oh, it's got the price on the bottom. <laughs> Kath Kidston mugs. To see ones that said mum on, she thought it would be hilarious to get me one that says Nan. It is hilarious, though. What a bitch. <laughs> so I've had a cuppa in my Nan mug. And now I'm having a cuppa in the mug I got from the angelic one let the good times roll but it's so appropriate because they're on roller skates yay party yeah oh, this is it all really this is what Will got me that's what Connie got me I did laugh though to be fair hello in the bathroom just had a bath and really liking this, I definitely want to get rid of some of this length, it's just a bit of a pain in the butt, but pain in the head, head pain, headache. Um, you, can, you can't even see that it's been buzzed under there, but I really, really, what's that, okay, I really, I really like it. Yeah, you can't see anything there, can you? Um, if I can, can I show, oh, maybe if I put you in the mirror. Yeah, I lift it up. Oh yeah, you can see how much, oh, there we go, how much was buzzed off there now. Um, but, and I love it. To be honest, I'd have a bit more off this side, but at the moment my hair's so long on the top, it would look definitely strange. So, yeah, I can't wait for the scissors to arrive, so I can chop a bit more off. Now I know this is a very green, no, turquoise bathroom, but can't be asked to do anything about it at the moment. Oh, yeah, so can I show you another thing I'm hoping to get rid of when uh, I go in on Wednesday? Hang on, let me start again. I'm not going to give you a full belly shot, but can you see my pink pimple? It's really, I've always had that. But if it doesn't get sucked up in the general snipping carnage you can take that off sorry that's probably going to make me want to vomit but i'm hoping to say goodbye to pink pimple too okay so i've taken a little bit more off i put myself in a carrier bag uh, and i had a little a tea towel on my neck too so i'm getting quite professional now I'd, it was too low it was only about well <laughs> it was about three centimeters outside and two centimeters outside i think so i've taken it up a bit a couple more centimeters uh, I did cock up a bit there. That's actually meant to be part of that, but that also I did get a bit in the clippers when I went to pull my hair down. But, oh, okay. How can I show you? Oh, I, don't, I can't see what you can see. How can I show you the side? I think I'm showing it to you. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that should be, should be a lot lighter, shouldn't it? So I haven't done the trimming yet of this ponytail I haven't got the energy today but oh, I'll tell you what God, I absolutely love the feel of this I love it no going back um, so even if I dyed my hair now it would just take usually I need about three packets of dye but I cannot get away with a packet now with that much so I might bring on the dye actually and then it makes it really dry so I might have to snip a bit of this off We'll see how we go this week, but that's, yeah, let's just ignore that bit. I'm going to facilitate that back there. Yeah. Well, oh, I can just see them out there. But my little tit is back this morning. That's where they usually hang out. On the tree, on the hairy tree. Oh, there they go. But when I walk 
helped him this morning. There he was, trying to get in the window again. Where are you gone, little fella? Oh, there, there's two of them. Look at them. Where are you gone? Oh, they're having a right good time this morning. I'm at the um, the hospital, just waiting for my COVID test. I've rung in, rung in. Uh, usually a nurse comes out in full armour, takes your temperature and that before you can leave your car. Looks like there's somebody two spaces down waiting for theirs as well. But you call and say, I'm here, and what car you're in, and it went through to answer the phone. But I did see somebody speeding in. So I don't know if that's the outpatient's nurse late. Uh, you can't really see my undercut here, but I am loving it. Yeah, so yeah, Monday, COVID test. And then, fingers crossed, in Wednesday. Oh, there goes a nurse in the semi-armour. I feel like suddenly, now I've got the undercut, like my hair's really growing. Because I thought it would look weird and that's why I'd have to have it cut up to there. But actually, I think it's all right now. So I'm like, oh, that person's going in. She's checking in. She's got a case. She's going in. Oh, no, not her. Hubby. Because you're not allowed to go in uh, with anybody. So she's giving him a kiss. Looks like she's going to burst into tears. And now he's gone off with nurse. <gasps> wonder what he's having. I'm so noisy. They're going in. It's exciting. I should have grabbed that nurse and say, I'm here for my COVID test. God, it's a hive of activity this morning. I can tell you. Cars coming in, cars coming out. Oh, this, I tell you what. <laughs> Sorry that you're having all this on top of all the um, tit action from yesterday, but this is the highlight of my week. This is the highlight of my two weeks, being out here, going to the hospital, sitting in my car, because I haven't been allowed out of the house. I might try calling again. <laughs> I'm honestly quite excited for human contact. Well, I've done some uh, photographs, doing some cameos today. I like this ring one. Oh, okay. A little variety in there every time I think about cameos, I think about Word Up and that red cord piece. Got some uh, Damascene going on. This is my favourite of the Damascene. Little red shoes, but it's a brooch. Really lovely. Got some really nice cufflinks in there as well. Done those as two lots of cufflinks. <clears throat> for three pound three oh i love this one as well he hasn't gone before little uh bullfighter so i have put him with something what have i put you with i think i put him with a tie clip did i something i think and then i'm doing some souvenir <clears throat> bits and bobs uh really like this brooch the doft style Center, bet that would clean up a bit actually. Oh, and this I really love <clears throat> this little souvenir bracelet. Look at that little wee willy winky, it's a kettle. So difficult not to keep just everything, to be honest. It was a little cauldron. I really like that. And a bottle, uh. There's some really, I've got some really cool little brooch badge things where they actually you open them up. I remember getting postcards like this that um, open up and then you've got all of the little mini postcards inside. I love miniature things. So that's cute. Yeah, all that's going on today.
I'm just really jewelry. Oh, it's a Monday. Dishwasher's on. First load of washing is on. Absolutely caning the tea today. What has happened is I woke up at five, and that seems to be the new. Oh, how can I turn you around? That seems to be the new usual now. Hang on a sec. Don't, I'm not going to do a full unboxing, but my clip marketplace box has turned up. Thank the lords. And so just to let you know, if you are looking for a Click Marketplace box, go on to Google and just search for a voucher code. You will find one. Stick it in at the end, get some money off. I spent 30 quid and I've got a mental amount of stuff. So crispies for um, the fam. Oh, I, I looked at this and thought, what? What the hell is... And I, Apparently it ordered, I must have been so desperate for sweet stuff that I've ordered some kind of treat box. So I think there's a lot of sweets. We've got lollipops. Oh, more lollipops. Oh, these look more interesting, these lollipops, actually. I like the look of those. Two bags of lollipoppers. Family sweet assortment. Wild sweets. Oh, they look, oh, they are Moams. That's good, the girls like Moams. Oh man, there's a mental amount of sweets here. This is good news, see there. Good news. Oh, great. Jelly babes. Love you. Very toppy. Yes, that would be absolutely fine. Three tubes of Smarties. Great. Mushrooms. Magic mushrooms. Oh, my God. More Smarties. Love hello. So, what's that? Five tubes of Smarties. Oh, I'm loving this. Oh my god. This is bottles. Mint. Oh no, not an assortment. Don't like that. Fruit pastels. Fruit pastels. Hmm, they look like the ones my nan used to have. Proper fruit pastel thingamajig. Oh my god. How do I order these separately? There's more smarties. This is awesomeness. Uh, chocolate balls. I'm not into these, but try and eat some. You can have those. Oh, we can have more of them as well. More chuck nibbles, all different flavours. Right, was oh, I definitely did order these. Well, I did order all of it, but I don't remember what I ordered. Oh, come into my life. Do oh yeah, oh yeah. I ran out of chocolate. Basically, this is what happened when I ran out of chocolate. I possibly overcompensate. More nibbles. Right. Oh, balls. That's mint, isn't it? Oh, balls. I love... I probably thought I was buying Dairy Milk Oreo. And I bought sort of mint. Tom will love that. No, no, no one else likes mint. I've got... Diet Twixes, because they're in single... Single fingers. That means they're diet. Um, wow, it's like... A, oh, yay! I could open a sweet shop. I can open that. I could pretend... Like I'm in uh, one of, oh, I can't remember the films now, you know, like Grandpa's Great Escape and that, and I could pretend it's my, oh no, oh, remember the 99 calories, they're like the size of a little finger. Oh my God, I could open a sweet shop. What fun. So what else have I got? Cheap little rolls. Cheap queen. Oh, I've got a sticker stuck to me now. I've got stuff that Maud will love. Six boxes of Cocoa Poppers and six boxes of Craves and some, oh gosh, more Smarties. Come into my life. And, <laughs> task. Most bizarre. They, would do, they do all these things like, you know, mad offers. So they were like five of these spray things for 50p. Um, oh, that's like a body spray. That might be quite nice to give them a spray. I said to Tom, well, if they're awful, we use them as um, toilet spray when he does his shit. Um, it was another one of the... Oh, so this is like fake links, I guess. <laughs> That's funny. I bet, smelly. I bet they smell all right. Let me have a smell. Let's give you a little squirt, though, not in my face. Ooh. Oh, that one smells of old lady. I 
Okay. Connie was here, she'd made some sort of joke. I think I'm quite happy with that lot for 30 quid. Delivered. <laughs> Okay, so the oh the COVID test was awful. I, I've had one before, but I had to do it myself. So I think you're less harsh on yourself when you're doing it yourself. But the woman, oh my God, I was gagging. She had the thing right back. And I was like, had my arms pushed out. I was trying to push her back because it she was right up there. And then up the nose as well. I was like, oh, oh. It, was, it was really unpleasant. And I really feel for the kids if they've got overzealous people up their noses and up down their throats it was really oh really unpleasant uh so i should get a call today so that's covid test done i should get a call today confirming what time to go in for on wednesday and starvation um details what i need to do and i've made myself a little list of stuff i need to do at home so all is good uh, oh. and when you transfer over with the oh that's a thought actually with the masks when you're there I was meant hearing aid always ends up pick, pinging out um, I've just realised that of course if I had a complete buzz cut you would see my hearing aids mind you it wouldn't bother me anyway so I would just like to say I'm going to wrap this up in a sec I'd just like to say again thank you all for the amazing comments i love i love the comments i love all your comments um and i'm still shocked that i'm not getting any negativity at the moment at the moment i don't get a great deal of negativity actually which is a surprise i'm sure uh i'm gonna get the thumbs down but it's still a thumb isn't it <laughs> and yeah, thank you, Dave. Dave said he's. I'm not. In, I'm not. I don't really do a lot of Facebook, but Dave uh, shared my haircut video to. I'm presuming MM UK is Monumental UK, is it? Facebook group. Thank you for that. And thank you for the coffees. Thank you for the music. <laughs> oh, this is just a saga now. I'm going to sign off. Upload this. It does cover yesterday mother's day and today monday oh and maybe i'll show you that tomorrow i did we did open a freaking gorgeous bottle of wine last night i've read i will show you tomorrow because i'm wrapping this up uh all that is left to say bye bye don't die